Welcome to the Home for Innovation. And today, as promised, we're following up on our multi-segment piece on prosperity at risk. The Harvard report on the findings of uh, U.S. competitiveness on manufacturing across the globe. And today I wanted to address the top ten reasons and the top nine reasons. The top ten reasons why companies are leaving the U.S. and the top nine reasons why companies decided to stay in the U.S. And basically the difference between the two lists are the top ten list includes lower wages as a reason for leaving. Lower wages are not a reason for staying. So bear with me here, but these are the top ten reasons that companies decided to leave the U.S. or place manufacturing plants in other places. The number one reason quoted and cited by 70 percent of the participants was lower wages in the, in the destination country they were heading. The next one, proximity to customers, was 34 percent of the responses. Better access to skilled labor, higher productivity of labor, faster growing markets, lower tax rates, more generous incentives from, lower, uh, from local authorities, fewer or, loose or less expensive regulations, proximity to suppliers, proximity to other company operations. So in order, these were the top 10 reasons why companies decided to leave the U.S. The top nine reasons why they decided to stay. Proximity to customers was 32% of the respondents. Less corruption, better access to skilled labor, greater safety for people and property, stronger intellectual property protection, proximity to home market, similar language and or culture, better transportation infrastructure, proximity to other company operations. So if for a minute we assume that the cost of labor over time will become a non-issue. In other words, we see cost of labor in China rising at a rapid rate. So in the next three to five years, the Chinese labor rates will be very similar to the U.S. So if that's an equal point, then what will the decisions be made on based on where we're going to place operations? It's these other things. And of these other things, which ones can we address? Well, proximity to customer and suppliers, those may be hard to address. But access to skilled labor, better regulations, more favorable regulations, lower taxes, these are things that we can address and have to address if we're going to be a player in the manufacturing market long term. The facts are right here, folks. Why do we care about these things? Because manufacturing is the key to real wealth. We'll see you here next time on The Home for Innovation.